Okay, are we ready to start? I'm ready. Okay, so, hi, I'm Morgan. Um, <laughs> this is my um, project slash like conference about me, past, present, and future. So, kind of just as an intro for like the past, we chose one artifact that um, shows strength in us. So I chose my science fair project. This year, my goal was to work on self-advocacy and one thing that kind of stood out in that category was asking for help because sometimes I don't exactly get the grades that I want because I don't get the help that I need. So I kept a log in my planner mm -hmm. and every Monday, well, every Monday that we could, um, we put those results into like a chart or like a log. And overall, I just think that there's been a lot of progress in that area and I talked to Ms. Anderson about this the other day, about switching over to like a new part of self-advocacy, which is like doing stuff independently and not just asking for help because I think that I've really like just overall just done really great in that category. So I think that my goal reflection is just like this, this I can't really put it into words. So like, it's just really, really meaningful to me because this was like a really big goal that I wanted to set in sixth grade and I didn't really get there because I was kind of shy in sixth grade, if you can imagine that. <laughs> um, the actress on stage, no I can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that actually, that kind of proves mm -hmm. that I've like overall just been more confident mm -hmm. and now, I don't know if you know, but like my part this year in the musical is like it's this big. wild person, like <laughs> crazy personality okay and so it just kind of it just shows that I'm just getting better at just being myself yeah and that's really meaningful to me cool so it sounds like you've pushed yourself outside of your comfort zone enough times and experienced success with that yeah that you're feeling a little safer taking those risks yeah and I just feel like more like myself and even though it's just like this what are you gonna do this year it's just really made me feel like I'm getting to like where I'm supposed to be mm -hmm. and even though I'm just in seventh grade it's just really beneficial to see how I've grown over the year mm -hmm. like for my first conference I was a little shy mm -hmm. my second one I was like okay I'm getting there and now I'm like pretty fluently talking about my work so it's just it's really great for me to see Do you want to comment? <laughs> as long as you don't make us all cry this time. Well, I'm already crying. So. Um, so, I mean, I think you're spot on, right? And I think that some of the words that we use are like, you know, empowered, that you feel empowered, um, that, you know, you have the confidence to speak up for yourself. And, and that's something that we see at home too. Um, and then there comes the delicate balance of that of, you know, doing that with grace so you're not just steamrolling over other people but you seem to have a nice balance of that um, and I think Morgan the fact that you're connecting that as a learner to that as a person like that that's really important um, and I think you know self-advocacy will continue to come and develop with confidence so when I read your body language um, I still see a little bit of like the raised eyebrow like Mom, like I hate to interrupt you, mm -hmm. but I have to have X, Y, Z. And so I think, you know, that'll just continue to emerge yeah. as you feel a little more confident. And, um, and I think it's great that you're expressing that at school and being more independent and, and self-advocating at school because it is super hard to do that, you know, with one mom one adult in the house and four kids you know it's like oh I don't want to bother her she just sat down for the first time today but I think you know just continuing to do that and continuing to say what it is that that you need and I, I think that's emerging so that's great thanks <laughs>
but it was called a resume. I'm sure you've heard of it because you've had to read a bunch, but... <clears throat> and write And write one. We <laughs> all <write> have. <laughs> and um, we kind of made one just to see what it's <clears throat> like to, you know, go through the process. I have mine with me if you want to see. I have not seen your resume yet. <laughs> And it just talks about like our achievements, what we have done in life, and just things that we're proud of, and our skills. Mm-hmm. So what were some of the highlights on there? So one thing that I'm really proud of, I explained that yesterday, but it was my um, like leadership award thing that I got in February. Mm-hmm. And it was just really nice to like be recognized for something that you do that you really try hard to do. Mm-hmm. And did you tell your mom about the award? I'm sure that came oh, up. Yeah, but that, okay, that came just making up. sure. Okay. <laughs> and I think it was on like 100% positivity, mm-hmm. being a positive role model. Sorry, I'm like not trying to toot my own horn or anything like that. But <laughs> <laughs> nothing <laughs> wrong with tooting your own horn. Sorry. Okay. Um, and also, um, I didn't explain this yesterday, mm-hmm. and it doesn't really connect back to my learning, but it's just like, I got like a red ribbon in my like choir like thing, okay. and it kind of signifies that like you've reached the high like the highest level that you can be in singing. So mm-hmm. awesome. that was really big for me. And one thing that connects back to school is um, not really an achievement, but more of just like community service. So we did this at the very beginning of the year. We did this community service or like. I think it was like field trips and fundraising. We call them like, community groups. Yeah, community groups. And I was really happy because I got my first choice of community service for that group. And we just got to explore different um, like ideas of how to help people. And then after that, we joined, um, or we had this like leadership community service group. Sorry. And um, it was just great to see that we were helping the community and even though I didn't get to see their faces like when we dropped off their gifts and like their Thanksgiving baskets, it was just great to think that we're helping somebody who can't have that help right now. And also we did like this like field trip and like planning committee thing and we got to plan out each of the like field trips and that was that was great and that was fun too. Um, so Morgan, I would say I have not seen this resume before. What a fantastic um, life skill to have and to kind of inventory yourself in this way is really kind of cool. So I, I love that this is part of your seventh grade work. I'm really impressed. Um, and I, I love the headers. Um, you know, if I translate this into what I do as a job, and a lot of what I do is hire seasonal staff for the Parks Department. Um, I look at these every day. And really what I sort through is, eh, education, that's important for me to know, right? But what I want to know is about the person. Because mm-hmm. I can teach most people anything <laughs> in a specific job skill. Um, but what you can't teach are those intangible right so those things that are just born in you and and that you develop and you exude like hard work like kindness like being inquisitive like wanting to help people um and so i think those things and the leadership that you have and the confidence those are really essential life skills job skills education skills Um, And so I I love seeing that that's kind of in black and white on a piece of paper Mm -hmm. for you to kind of take stock in Um, and, you know, spot on. I I love all of those things. And I think you, um, being in the situation that you're in, you know, with one working parent and four kiddos, you know, we don't always have all the money that we want to do everything we want to do. So sometimes it's a, you know, a choice of is that a need or a want um so when you get to things like getting back to the community and your community service pieces like that's even more meaningful for you because you've been on the receiving end of that Mm -hmm. you know recently being gifted a big chunk of money to go to a chorus camp that helps you make that connection right Mm -hmm. and relate to yeah what are the things that i can give of myself and it's not always money Um, Sometimes it's time or it's talent. Um, And so I think 
the fact that you have that already really firm in who you are is really a special gift. So when I look at your present, and I know it's a play on words, right? Because this is where you are, yeah. but you are the present. Like you are the gift oh, thank to you. all of us. Mm -hmm. Really? Really? <laughs> really? Well, that kind of seg segues into what I wanted to say, even thinking about your goal and thinking about your resume. I appreciated yesterday we did a practice round in iTime, and Morgan volunteered to practice her conference. So I knew that she was going to talk a little bit about that character award. I think you're such a humble person that when I was describing the award, because I gave it to Morgan, you know, all the kids are like, Morgan, it's Morgan. And she was like, no, no. <laughs> and she got the award. She was like, really? You think all those amazing things about me? And of course we do, but I think... I've seen a really big shift in you since then in ways that I can't describe, but I think that that you're starting to really believe that message, and I think that's really improved your self-confidence, and therefore I think you feel like, oh yeah, I am, I am awesome. I am worth that teacher's time. Like, I do have something valuable to add to the conversation, and so I'm really excited. I'm really um, proud of and, and and really happy that was so impactful for you because I think that since I've gotten to know you this year, you really continued to grow your self-confidence quite a bit and and that looks like you self-advocating and that looks like all these things that you've written about. But I, I wanted to go back to, I wanted to talk about um, that piece on your resume and yeah. tie it back to your goal because I see a huge connection there. Thank you. You're welcome. My grades this year, I think of overall just shown my like growth, <clears throat> sorry, my growth in not only just learning, but you know, like doing the homework, doing everything, like being ready for class. And I explained this yesterday as well, but I'll tell you what my grades are. But um, overall, I just think that your grades don't really show like, wow, you're like an A student or like, wow, you're really failing. like. Your grades should show how you're doing, and if you're trying your best, and you're doing your best, and you're turning in all your assignments, and that turns out to be a B minus, then a B minus is basically an A plus, because you're doing your best, and you're just doing what you're doing. So, I think that even though my grades have been pretty good, like really good, in trimester three, I think that overall, like from beginning to like maybe Bs. I think that those are A pluses for me because I just tried my best and if that's a B then that's okay with me and I know that that's okay with you too. Mm -hmm. I know that's okay with teachers too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can I ask a question because yeah. I remember something you talked about at the very beginning of the year, yeah. work completion and being really consistent was a little bit yeah. of an issue and we talked about that tying in, if I remember right, right to self-advocacy. Right. How is that going? Do you feel like you're improving? Are you more consistent in handing in your work and asking questions if you're not or if you need clarification? I think that overall, like for just everything that has to do with self-advocacy from mm -hmm. the beginning of the end of the year, it's just getting better and better. And by the way, the teachers are like a big part of it because mm -hmm. they kind of just help us along the way. Just like, you can do it, like you can do this. And it's really empowering. And I know that like not only me, but like every single student is really glad that you guys are doing that. So I claps for you guys, but <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> um, yeah, so I think that I've gotten really good at handing in my work because mm -hmm. I want to show what I can do and I want to show that like I understand what's going on in class and I pay attention and I listen to the speaker mm -hmm. and that's just shown through like mm -hmm. just I'm just so proud mm -hmm. I'm not trying to like be like that but I'm just you really proud of myself. <laughs> I think you should be proud. I think the other thing that I've seen is project work and you being really excited and really immersed in project work. So when I think about things, like the three things that come to my mind for this year are the scale model, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that was really fun. <laughs> yeah, and the science project and then the 30-year-old me. So I kind of, you know, track those kind of three big projects. So you really seem to 
gravitate and grab onto those. And I, I think the reason for that is because they're really meaningful for you. So I think the more you're connecting, wow, I'm learning this and this is how I'm going to apply it is, is, is important. And I think that that's like the buy-in to, you know, oh, I'm willing to not watch this baking show right now because I'm really excited about my project. Um, and so I'm seeing more of that. Um, as a mom, it's amazing that I don't have to say to 13 year olds, time to do your homework. Yeah. So like, that's really great. And I think the, the more you're excited and engaged with your education, the more it is, it's like, wow, learning is fun. And trust me when I tell you as a 44 year old person, if I could go back and be a student every day of my <laughs> life, it would be a dream. If somebody would pay me to be a student, that'd be amazing. Um, and so I see a lot of those things in you too, just like, I love learning, I love making those connections. And so the fact that you're in an environment that promotes that, and that that's how you're thinking of things at a higher level and not just, I'm, I'm dotting every I so I get an A, that's not who you are. You're more like, I'm really focused on this because it's exciting and it's fun. And um, I think the more you're excited about education, the more you'll continue to be invested in that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Okay. Kind of like a really brief synopsis of like what this, what an eighth grade decision is. So we came up with a bunch of decisions that we're gonna make towards getting our life to 30. And it started with an eighth grade decision. And even though it's not really like getting a job or doing something like that, I chose to join a new activity. And I think that's important because you just need to get to know new people. You need to try new things and just put yourself in a new environment that you're not really used to. And overall, I think that's just getting yourself used to like being with new people and meeting new friends and overall just, yeah, making new relationships. And taking on new risks, right. trying something yeah. and seeing if it works or if it doesn't work right. and being okay with that. That's great. Okay, so ending this year, um, overall, I think I can just look back what I really want what I really want at the end of this year, sorry, I get kind of emotional on this. Um, I just really want to feel proud of myself and how much progress I've made. And I can definitely do that right now because like I said, at the beginning of sixth grade, I was kind of the shy student. I was like, oh, everybody's so much older than me. And then at the end, I kind of ended up almost in the same way. And then seventh grade, I was so nervous, I was like, new like people and new teachers like what's it gonna be like i'm not the youngest anymore but i'm not the oldest and i think i've just grown a lot as a learner and as a person in this process and it's just really great to see how much i've grown it's almost like i'm a different person but i love that because mm -hmm. i just like love who i've become and overall i just i just love everybody like like <laughs> okay but <laughs> Sorry, it's just, that's what I want at the end of this year, and I feel like I've really done that. You're spot on, and, I, and there's so many people that are so proud of you, and you continue to unfold parts of me that are like, I wish I had it all together like Morgan has, mm -hmm. um, still at my age. So, you know, I am extremely proud of you, and if there's any opportunity that I can to celebrate you, I, I try to do that. But there's just not going to be enough celebration. So I think every day should be Celebrate Morgan Day because I think <laughs> that you're magical and fantastic and, um, and, and that will continue to unfold and you'll continue to gain confidence. And let me just tell you, as I have literally been in this seat in this school when I was your age and I did not have the confidence that you have. And as a 13 year old girl with just by the nature of hormones and development and social norming, it's not easy to get through seventh grade and at the end of seventh grade be able to be like, I'm proud of who I am and the decisions I make. Mm -hmm. And huge. so that's huge. So I'm really proud of you. Thanks, Mom. And I love you. <laughs> A 
it was just great to see like two really big pieces of my life, school and home, just come together and just, it felt really great that both sides were celebrating me and I kind of felt humbled and just really like special for that half an hour, even though it's like a conference, it just made me feel really great and it just like made me reflect on how I've been doing and I'm really proud of the work that I've been doing, so.